Hey, Diver Dave here again. We're back at the seawall. As you can see, those little pilings they had, uh, they're, they're gone, completely underwater. That's all that was left is that little bit there. We had a little technical problem. I wasn't able to put any video on, not yesterday, but the day before. So I'm just trying to catch up. What we're going to do here is show this was yesterday's water level. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you uh, today's water level. Wow, Mike, you guys are screaming through this line. <laughs> You videotaping for real? Yeah, you guys are doing a good job. We're doing better if you get back in line. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm Mike Silva. I'm the new commandant of the St. Mary Paris Detachment 600 Marine Corps League. And I'm standing here with Roger Liner. Roger Liner. We are helping tonight uh, a small part feeding the National Guard members that are helping with our levy systems uh, that are actually sleeping here. Amelia Civic Center uh, working 24 hour shifts, uh, different different ships of course and uh, Mr. Roger here is has been instrumental in feeding these troops and uh, it's come to my attention he's been doing this for uh, how long? It's been every two weeks Monday we've been doing this and uh, we started off doing for just like 15 guys and it's been worked up to 257 and we're very fortunate to have people to help us uh, like y'all and even the Sacred Heart uh, the group of Sacred Heart to go with the uh, sandwich making detail and we're, we're very thankful to them. So do you have any ideas of how people can, can volunteer? One thing they can do, if we can get some people to drop off, we can get say eight or ten cakes a day right. or, or desserts. Doesn't have to be fancy desserts, just plain simple good desserts. These guys love sweet. Give me something to pick up and uh, they can just drop them off here at the Media Civic Center and we'll see to that they get served. Okay. Because I'm not a I'm not a dessert cooker. I cook big right. meals okay. and, I don't really have time to cook the dessert. But this, this will get go, uh, but desserts but this go will with, be a big help. Okay. And they can also, uh, if they want to volunteer any kind of services, they can also contact the parish or contact, you know, uh, one of the local officials right. and ask how they can donate. Do something like you're doing. What kind of hours were you and, keeping, Mike? Uh, just, to, just to let people know how many, what kind of, this, this man was keeping basically, ridiculous uh, hours. Basically, about 20, 18, 20 hours a day. Wow. This man and, you know, a group of, uh, about five, of us five volunteers. That are working, you know, ridiculous hours, sleeping maybe one or two, you know, one or two hours a night, coming back again, doing a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner, just to help out. Give back a little thanks to the men and women that are helping us out. If you guys can watch this video and and post it on your Facebook, on your on your Twitter page, uh, repost this 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 YouTube video uh, anywhere you get a chance, and remember this man's name, keep in your thoughts and prayers. Obviously, the National Guard, the Levy Board System, everybody else. You know, that would be a tremendous thing. So we'd like to throw ahead and thank you on behalf of St. Mary thank Parish. You. Thank you. Uh, St. Mary yep. Parish, you know, what we're doing here on our behalf is just small, but what you're doing is great here. So. Thank you for helping out tonight. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Kind of gives us a night off. Well, like I said at the beginning of the video, today's video, today's water level is right here. We're uh, just about touching nine foot. Now, they're predicting 13 feet. Yeah, we got a long ways to go before we hit 13 feet. Just want to show you some of the really worst of the flooding that's going on in Morgan City. That's it right there, guys. That's it. That is the worst of the flood. And national news would have you believing that we're a ghost town. We're not a ghost town. I, we're hardly getting affected at all. That little bit of water, that's just leaking out from underneath the seawall. That's why they put sandbags there. We're doing good. I hope you all keep watching. Let me know how you feel about the videos. Thanks.